Hello again, Ian Stokey with Mastermind Games, back with another Malifaux video, this time Candy, the Woe of Innocence Stolen. So anybody afraid of creepy children should either avert their eyes or switch to a new video now. Uh, fair Skin 09047. So again, Candy is a Neverborn, one of the woes under the domination of Pandora, and she is the woe of Innocent Stolen, as I just mentioned. Read into that however you like. But she was actually very prominent in the fiction for a while, and when avatars were still a thing in Malifaux, in other words, superpowered masters. Candy at part of Pandora's was candy upgrading from little girl to teenaged. So, yeah, that was a thing at one point in time. So, they kind of backpedaled on that and had the masters powered down in favor of the effigy puppets made by Zareta the Swamp Hag powering up. And apparently in the 3rd edition, those same effigies will be able to sort of evolve like Pokemon into their necessary forms. And then, where did I put it? Moldy Skin 09149. So she's got a little basket of goodies and knives and a severed head in it. Going for the same dead black eyes and bizarre skin tone as I do with Pandora. And, yeah. And, basket full of candy and a severed human head. <laughs> I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit before moving on. Okay, next up, Pixie Pink. This is an Army Painter War Paint. It's also a brand new pot, so we'll see if there are any problems. It looks good so far. This is another model where they went to an insane and, I would say, unnecessary amount of detail because they wound up actually sculpting her legs right up to her thighs, almost her buttocks, which is odd because most companies would just kind of cut it and just kind of fill in the skirt just above her, just above right around the knee. So, got me what they were kind of thinking, but whatever. Just, they put the insane, and the weird puts an insane amount of detail into a model. They actually go down the path of insanity. And that's actually her hair. This might need a second coat. Or maybe I just need to mix a little better. Let's try that first. Well, that looks a little better. I just punched my camera. I do want to get a solid layer underneath the skirt, but it's not easy to do because of the angle. Okay.
blonde hair 09257. Yeah, they've been inconsistent with candy as well. Original, well, in the first edition rule book, there wasn't even concept art for some models, and it just went with a photograph. And in earlier renditions, candy was depicted with uh, red hair. The concept art for this sculpt switched it to black. So. I am going with whatever I feel like and doing a little reference to my second favorite Super Nintendo game while I'm at it. It'll also be the second time I've made a reference to a favorite video game of mine. I'm going to try to get this dress done a little more thoroughly, but also right about just plain lighting up the detail of the paint that's too thick. So, call it good at that. I'll blot that out near the neck. Got a bit too much blonde hair on the dress. And let that dry for a bit. Alright, I did a second layer of that pink off camera. So, Weather White 09062. And I'm just going to go with this all the way up the leg for the shoes. I'm not sure what the sculptor intended, but uh, we're just going to leave it at that. Cups and get the trim on the sleeves and the collar. This just takes a fairly tiny brush and a very steady hand. Essentially doing one more. There's a little bow on the, a couple of bows on the front. I'll get the one on the back. Okay. Now the candy cane. That's going to be done as a detail. But the basket itself. I can find my paint. Shield Brown zero nine one six one. Kind of a standard for me, I know, but <laughs> too much water in there. A little dot between the hands. This does have a handle. Back out that side. Okay. One more base coat. That's going to be uniform gray, another more paints color. I'm 
I'm starting to get used to how this War Painter brand works, but it is, has been a big change for me. It's more of that hand sculpting thing I do. All right, let that dry, then I can start shading. All right, well, A, my camera doesn't seem to want to focus right this second, but B, I can start shading. So I'll start with the hair, blonde shadow, 09256. Thinning it out with uh, about one part water to one part paint. Linen white zero nine zero six one. So that pink still looks a little wet. Just gonna see what happens. Just roll with it and see what happens. Looks a little thick right there too, but whatever. Okay. This is just not liking to focus right this second. So carefully. Go along the trim, and that's bows, cuffs. Uh, the color I'm going to use to shade the dress with should be dark enough to cover up any errant white. Let's go ahead and try to absorb some of that excess. Clean out my brush and get the leggings and shoes. Got it. And then Ghoul Skin 09148. Actually, that little dot is plenty to do the job. I just need enough to get the to get her little separate head she's carrying around. Which I can guarantee you came from one of her victims. the eyes there. Either dilute or soak up that white. Got on the face, okay. Let that dry and move on. Alright, things are drying up. Things are drying up, I can move on. So Ghost White 09063. I'll mimic what I did with um, Pandora here. I don't want it to go all over the place in a nutso way. Alright, and that's just going to have to do for now. Just a little more uh, shading on the hair. Okay, well, that happened. Alright, soak that up. Ghost white. Alright, let that dry. Okay. Woodstain brown, 09160. actually doing something. 
I'm wondering if it's just having to do with how small the model is, why the camera's having so much trouble focusing. But, it, you know, it's one of those this is what it is situations, and it's frustrating, but it's just what I have to deal with. And that's going to have to dry now. Okay, finally I get this camera to focus on it. Just gotta hold it up to pretty much the lens. Okay, Warlock Purple this is another army painter color. It's also a fresh pot, so we're gonna mix it up a little more thoroughly than usual. A little tiny paint sugar to come in handy, but I don't think they make them in this size. That should work quite nicely. And hey, this one didn't uh, burst out erratically like the pink did. So, that just... Filling where it wants to. Up there. And on the front as well. Up over the shoulder and the back, carefully avoiding the white I've already done. I will at least get the more readily visible portion of the underside. But Okay, get a little more on this shoulder here. Okay, and then actually I can go ahead and do the <clears throat> base with Stormy Grays for 9088. Solid coat here. Outside of drying times, this is actually taking less time than I thought it would. Alright, and once that dries, I can highlight detail and wrap up. Alright, <clears throat> time to highlight in detail. So, pure black 09037. And I'm just giving her dead black eyes. So going for the old black-eyed children thing as well here. And we'll just fill in the eye sockets on the zombie head as well. And start uh, blood red 09003 and we'll do the little candy cane here. stuff is dry enough I can highlight now so with all the focusing issues I'm having here I'd hate to see what happens when I get to the zombie chihuahua 09048 fair highlight and there really is a zombie chihuahua in Malifo it's uh, actually morning's totem and he's also uh, coming up after a while so 
fly brushing technique, no water. Ragged feathered brush, straight paint, and rub out most of it on towel, paper towel till it looks like there's nothing left. And then lightly dust the area to be affected. Refreshing paint as needed. Okay, and then Bloodless Skin 09150. I'm just switching brushes freely. You need them to be literally dry to do this. So I'm just swapping out to save time. Now I need to do a little mixing. So I'm going to take that pixie pink from earlier, little dot of it, and matte white, little dot of that, and then palette knife. Don't use your brush, use an actual palette knife to mix. It'll still just get tangled up in the brush, not mix properly, and then just stir it in. Just a circular motion so you get all these streaks out and get one solid color. So to uh, lighten the color, use white. Use black to darken it. Very Go very light on the black, though. A little bit of black goes a long way when darkening. And then, if you want to neutralize it, use gray. Adding white is calling it a tint, gray a tone, and black a shade. Uh, so, the basic color theory there. Just need to find an appropriate brush. That'll do. And focusing on the most readily visible surfaces. It's not bad. And ghost white again, zero nine zero six three. about the tiniest brush I can find in my little collection here. Well, that might have to do. I'm sure I'll drop a thousand frames a second. Just... Lightly getting the trim. And Driftwood Brown zero nine one six two. Basket. Then zero nine zero nine zero misty gray. Being careful to avoid her feet while I'm doing this. Blonde Highlight, 09258. And I'm dropping hundreds of frames a second. Okay. The joys of technical difficulties strike again. 09258, Blonde Highlight. It's 
crew was stiff. I just need a technology can be great when it works. But when it doesn't, it can be a real pain. Now taking a little more matte white. And the finest brush I have. Let's see here. That's going to have to do, but it's a little too long. Just putting a few stripes on the candy cane. And now. The last step is to take a flat brush and pure black 09037. And I muddied up her eyes just a bit, so I'll go ahead and just fix that really quickly. Nice and dark. Now taking the flat head, just lining the edge of the base, cleaning up the stray paint marks, trying to avoid hitting the basing. Now, if I were using flock, I would be doing this before applying. process on this was to fill the recess in the base with sculpting putty and carve the pattern in while it was still wet. And then once it dried, I glued the model on. And there we go. Candy from Malifaux. Ah, ready to scare the crap out of anybody she comes across. Until next time, I'm Ian Stuckey with Mastermind Games, signing out.